guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Sandra and in today's video I'm going to test out another eyeshadow palette with you and it's the BH Cosmetics Love in London eyeshadow palette. It was a birthday present I got it from my sister and her boyfriend and I've recently tested out the Catrice Royal Idols eyeshadow palette so I will leave the video link down below so definitely make sure you check it out if you're considering buying this eyeshadow palette. And yeah, now without further ado, let's get started. And this is how the palette looks like. I think it's very pretty and of course it's London themed. It's also very lightweight. And in the inside you can find 16 different shades. There are matte shades and shimmery shades. And then you've got also a big mirror. I think the color selection is very beautiful and natural because you have all these brown colors here, a black one, and the shimmery shades are also very natural. Now let's swatch the shimmery shades. First I will take this light one here, it's called Cheeky, and this one it's called Lolly. They are very beautiful, wow, and extremely good pigmented. And they are yeah, shimmery, there is no glitter in it. And I'm swatching the one called Palace and Biscuit. The pigmentation is extremely good. I'm very excited to try out this golden shade here. And it's called Queen and the other one is called Prestige. And last but not least I'm swatching these three colors. Okay, the color pigmentation is insane. All the colors are very good pigmented and I also like the colors because you can tell the difference between all the colors, they don't look the same. Yeah. I like them. So I'm pretty impressed by the swatches, but now let's move on to the actual application of the eyeshadows. So for my crease I'm taking this color here called Cheers and it's a very light brown color. Okay, there is pretty much fallout. Um, it seems like the color is very powdery, so I tap off the excess and then I just place it into my crease. I think this is a perfect color if you only want to define your crease without applying any more eyeshadow because it's a very neutral tone. Okay, I'm pretty impressed by the pigmentation because um, even though it's a very light brown color, you can see it on your eyelid and this is the perfect everyday shade. Um, just pop on a little bit of glitter and you're good to go or you can also leave it like this. I, I really like this color. And to deepen up the crease a little bit more, I'm taking at this, mm, I don't know, is it gray? great brownish shade here and it's called Crumpet. This color looks also very beautiful with this other shade and it was also very easy to blend out and to apply. There is no fallout so far. I could also leave this item look like this but for the purpose of this video I will take another matte shade and this is called Piccadilly. Now it's not super visible but I think the color itself is beautiful. It looks like this. Now to blend all the colors together I'm taking this shade again from the beginning called Cheers and I just blend all the colors together. So far so good, there is still no fallout, that's a good sign. So let's move on to the shimmery shades. I think I will take this one called Lolly and I'm just applying it with my ring finger. It's so shimmery, it's so beautiful. I hope you can see it on camera. It's so beautiful. The shimmer is just unreal. It's so gorgeous, so beautiful. I also want to test that other one. So I think I will take the blue one here that's called T. 
and I will just apply it um, right into the outer, no, the inner V of my eye. Wow, that's beautiful. Um, yes, of course, I could also do it with a brush. Let's see. Also applies very easily with a brush. To be honest, I'm always applying shimmery shades with my fingers because they always come off more shimmery and there's always more pigmentation when I just apply them with my finger. But uh, that's not the case with these ones because um, it looks even better with the brush. Um, let's try another blue one. I take this one called London and just apply it on the top of the other blue, oh, not foundation, eyeshadow. I hope I don't ruin my whole makeup look, but I'm taking this purple shade here called Duchess and I'm just applying it right onto the outer V of my eye. It's not very visible, but I can see a little bit of the color and, of course, the shimmer. So this eyeshadow look was definitely not planned, but I like the colors and I'm just blending all the colors together. So now I'm taking this black color here called Posh and I just apply a little bit onto my upper lash line just as a um, eyeliner. I really like the fact that it has a black eyeshadow because um, I lately love doing my eyeliner with an eyeshadow because it's super easy, you don't have to be very precise and that's perfect because especially if you're traveling you don't need an extra product. I have a little bit of fallout here, I'm a little bit from the black color and also from the shimmery shades, but I think I can remove it with a brush later. Okay, remember, don't try to remove your tear when you have eyeshadow all over your hands, then something like this happens. That was not a good idea because now I have all the black fallout on my nose so I have to go over with a second layer of foundation. So definitely make sure you apply your eyeshadow first and then do the rest of your makeup because otherwise you look like me and you have fallout all over your face. So let's move on with the lower lash line and for that I'm taking this grayish brownish color called Crumpet and I just buff it underneath my lower lash line. If you're wondering why this um, light shade appears so dark underneath my eyes, that's just because I took the same brush from before um, that I've used to blend out all the shades, so it's a little bit darker, but I don't mind because I like the result. So let's move on to my inner corners and my brows. And here I'm taking uh, this color here called Cheeky. my little lash line a little bit more pop. I'm taking the blue color and it's called London and I'm also applying a little bit on the leaf of the lash line. I'm quickly doing my eyelashes. You can also add falsies but um, I think mascara is enough. So this is not a finished eyeshadow look and I really like how it turned out. Um, I know it's a little bit dramatic and there are yeah, a few colors in it. Most of them are shimmery, but I like it. So my first impression of this eyeshadow palette is very good because all the shades are very good pigmented, they blend out very well, they're also buildable and the shimmery shades are so beautiful. They have such a gorgeous shimmer and there are not big glitter particles in it. But these are definitely one of the best shimmery shades that I've ever tried out. And like I've mentioned before, there is a little bit of fallout of the glittery shades and also of the black shade. So do your um, 
eye makeup first and then the rest of your makeup. The mirror is very helpful because I like it when I have an eyeshadow palette with a mirror so I don't need an extra mirror and then I have the eyeshadow palette. And like I've said at the beginning, I haven't bought it from my own money, so I had to make a little bit of a research how much it is. And it's always about $17, so I think this, in my opinion, affordable for an eyeshadow palette with 16 different shades and a mirror. So I think, especially because of the quality of the eyeshadows, this eyeshadow palette is definitely worth the money. I think you can create so many different eyeshadow looks with this, no matter if they are more uh, dramatic and dark like mine or um, lighter ones and natural ones. Now you've heard my honest opinion about this eyeshadow palette and I really hope this video was helpful for you. Of course, before you leave the channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.